July 28th, I want to do a quick little video here. Um, last year, you know, in, in the midst of my traveling and stuff, yeah, I want to let you guys know just how close we are to where something's getting ready to happen here. Most people aren't even aware of this, but if you if you look around, like I said, we, I've been telling people to let go, let it go. Because people that are struggling, hanging on to these worldly things here, you're not going to see it coming. You won't see it coming. Um, people that are worried about their house bills, worried about moving into a new house, worried about something to do with the world, man. You're not going to see it coming. You know, worried about who's going to be the president. Maybe they could save you. You know, I mean, I don't even like to watch the news, man, because they're going to tell you what they want, and they're going to just, they're delaying things, getting you into the world. Um, these little events, these perverted movements, uh, the, uh, the gender issues with the bathrooms, you know what I mean? You're going to be, you're going to miss it. You ain't going to see what's coming. There's news out there happening that you need to pay attention to, but it's got to be about Christ, not about this world. He's given us signs, too. That's what you need to see. Um, a while back, I had my phone shut off when I was with Verizon, and uh, I had three phone calls on that where somebody asked me to look at their computer screen, and they said, what is that behind that guy it's, that looks like something shaking? And I went and I looked, and I said, that's a window. I said, it's a window behind him. It's somebody coming in and out of the office, and the window is shaking. And uh, he goes, oh, and he set it down, and he went upstairs into the bathroom. Immediately, he went upstairs, right after saying it. And then, bling, my phone rings, my cell phone. I pick it up, and said, hello. And uh, this guy says, uh, oh, it was a company that called me up. The first phone call was a company saying, Mark, I did work for these people in the past out of Michigan. And uh, they said, do you know anybody that cleans windows? And I'm going, yeah, I just got you talking to somebody about a window. And then all of a sudden, here I am getting a call about cleaning windows. This is how I'm telling you, man. They're watching us. They're closer. They're watching you more than you know, man. That's what I'm trying to tell you right now, man. We're, we are mere puppets in their, uh, what they're looking down here at us, man. I mean, you guys have no idea. that They're sitting here watching how, how ignorant we are or how smart we are. How much we follow the Lord. The Lord knew exactly what I did. The choices I made. And the choices I made were difficult. For a difficult path ahead of me. Because I had a lot against me. And I still do. But uh, I told him. I said, no I don't know anybody. Because now there was a time I would have went there and cleaned those windows. Let me tell you something man. I had no problems washing windows. I didn't care. I was a painting contractor. But I would have went down there late at night. And cleaned those windows squeaky clean. But I told him, I'm no longer in business, man. I said, you guys got so many people coming in here doing this stuff from all over the place. You put me out of business. And they said, oh, okay, well, we'll take you off our vendors list. And I said, okay, and I hung up. Never heard from him again. But anyhow, I hung up. I went to go set my phone down. Before I even got it set down to the ground, it rang again. And this guy sounded very demonic, evil, kind of. And he goes... You left your card in my window, like my business card, Golf Bay Painting. And he goes, and you scratched my car. I want the name of your insurance. You know? And I told him, I said, look, man, I'm not even in business anymore. I'm no longer even in Florida. Um, I used to live in Clearwater, Florida. And uh, I said, look, I'm out of business. And uh, I said, I can't help you. And he goes, then all of a sudden I heard a real demonic voice, just sounded just like my football coach did uh, when he offered me that job at Tampa Bay Stadium in 2014. But it went, when I told him I'm no longer in business, he went, no, like no, something like that, you know. It sounded real demonic, like something old, you know, from, it was real, uh, it was evil, demonic, you know. They didn't like the sound of me saying I'm out of business, that I'm through here. And uh, I guess it, it, that's a sign from the heavens, you know. I believe I came here for this. That's why I've been telling people. That's why I've got that angel above my head blowing this trumpet, man. You know, I'm not here to boast about it, man. It's just a fact. I believe I came here for this one reason. Now, you're also going to see and hear people with negative uh, comments that are going to sit there and 
try to sound like this ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. But let me tell you something. The more they come against us, the more you better know that this is getting ready to happen. The Lord gives us all kinds of signs to warn us. Um, when he went, no, when I told him I was out of business and I hung up. And then uh, I went to go set the phone down and I got another phone call. Three of them, back to back. I didn't even have a chance to set my phone down. And uh, this time they said, congratulations, you just won a free trip. And something inside my spirit told me that was them. That was them up there. You know, about cleaning the windows and then the other negative one, it was like the evil coming against me. And when I told him I'm no longer in business here, that I'm leaving, it's over, um, he went, no. Like, you know, they like they know their end is here. And I believe I came here because I'm going to tell you, most people don't listen to me. Everything I've been warning them about. I've been trying to sound the alarm for a long time. Yeah, I got a few people on YouTube, but all the churches refused to listen to my message. And uh, I believe I may have even came here just to let the devil know his time's up. And they didn't like that. My football coach tried to get me a job at Tampa Bay Stadium, wanted me to go to work there. All the seats in front of us were empty. And he goes, where are these seats being empty, huh? I'm going, yeah, it is. These are $70 seats. And I kept thinking, he looks familiar to me because I hadn't seen him since I was a kid. And here he is sitting next to me at a game with his daughter. I thought both of them looked familiar. And she was a redhead, too, okay? Now, redheads, if you look at that bank painting of America where it says Satan being cast down to the earth, all the angels that are with him, they're all redhead. Look at it. But anyhow, um, he asked me about working at Tampa Bay Stadium there, and uh, he told me where he normally sits at. And I'm thinking, well, if that's where you normally sit over there, what are you doing over here? And then he pointed to some empty seats up top about how he's going to start, start selling tickets cheaper to people that can't afford it. And I looked at him and I said, look here, it cost me $40, $50 just to park my car, okay, to come into this game. If they can't afford these tickets, they can't afford to park their car. And uh, and he goes, I'd give somebody like you 60000 a year to work here. And now, mind you, I was living in my shop, bathing out of a small sink, okay? And uh, I just felt everything was demonic. I didn't like it. And uh, I looked at him, and I said, look here. I said, these games are over, man. I said, they're over. I said, everybody here is overpriced, overpaid. And I said, too many people struggling in this world for what? And uh, he went, no. Sounded just like that same voice that I heard on uh, um, on that phone that last time about the car window being scratched in his car. And uh, sounded exactly like it. But anyhow, even the guy that I'm with right now, um, driving with, I told him his wife had a dream um, last night about snakes. And I tried to tell him, I said, you know, you're... Uh, you're, you listen to mediums and stuff like that, and they call him a prophet of God because uh, he sees events that are getting ready to unfold and stuff. I told him, these are demonic. These are demons, man, and they want you to go after these things. They want you to be lustful. And he got all mad about it, and he goes, I don't want to talk about it no more, you know. I'm like, okay, you know, talk about hardening of the strong delusions and stuff, you know. You can't change the mind to people. Trust me, I've been trying. Um, those that passengers on that plane, 777, there's 222 of them. Stop to think about it. What's man's number? 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. In other words, they just were spared. Okay? They, they, they escaped what could have been a bad disaster. That's a sign from God, man. He's trying to tell you, man, get ready. Get ready, man. This is the time to be ready. What's getting ready to happen? I showed you that angel, that trumpet, blowing that trumpet above my head. Okay, that was taken in 77. I was 17. There's three sevens right there. When the housing market crashed, man, seven, seven, seven points. Yeah, I know it's not all lined up as fast as you would like it. I've been doing this for quite a while. Um, I've been warning people for a long time. Nobody's believed me. But I guarantee you this, the devil's believed me. The devil knows. 
that when I told him what was happening. I've had nothing but demonic stuff coming against me ever since. And you know what? I've been telling people I've been attacked by this stuff for years now. Nobody's ever believed me. I told them I needed help with work. Nobody's ever helped me. Um, getting work, nothing, man. They just, you know, I've had a few people help me with some money a while back when my car broke down and got my car running again. Um, yeah, now I'm with this guy here, and I'm going to tell you something. I haven't made any money here either, you know. But the Lord knows everything that I'm going through here. Everything. Um, even right now, my legs, man, my legs are swollen up tight. I mean tight. That's a sign of heart gesture can failure, you know. And it says people's hearts will be failing them in these times. I'm at this time. They just got through harvesting wheat out there. And if you look at that wheat, it looks like it's gold, man. You know, I'm telling you, we're getting ready to go home, man. Am I worried about my heart? Not one bit, man. My legs, yeah, they're bothering me, but uh, it is what it is, you know. I've got faith in God, you know, and uh, Jesus Christ. I know it's real, you know. I can't convince you that, but uh, there's people on this YouTube channel that know exactly what I'm talking about. Keep your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything that I've told you is true. I've got no reason to lie to you. I'm, I'm not trying to gain nothing, and I'm not treating this like it's a television show either. I notice people when they do it, you know, wanting to be like a little star on television. I'm going to tell you, you're, you're not going to like it. When you stand before the Son of God, you're not going to like it, man. This ain't about a popularity contest here. This is about getting the message out to letting people know it's really happening. we got enough yahoos out there that want to be a star or something like that, and they ain't even anointed by the Lord. They're just wanting to make a name of themselves. That one guy, are you serious? Are you serious? Well, wait until he stands in front of God. He's not going to be saying, are you serious? He's this, these people are in trouble. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of people out there right now on YouTube that got no business being on it, man. There's a lot of people coming against it. Now, I've heard some encouraging people. Spirit of Blessings, I heard her message this morning. And I liked it very much. And I liked how she said, I'm not going to let you come on here and take any hope away from these people. And that's that's what this is about. It's about those that have love for one another. Because the Lord says that. Comfort one another in these times right now. And that's exactly what we're supposed to be doing. So I know her heart is sincere. God bless you. Be with the Holy Spirit. And do not deny the name of our Lord Jesus Christ.